Like a lot of the other games in the Metal Gear Solid Master Collection, Metal Gear Solid 1 has its fair share of problems. The main one we're going to be fixing today is the fact that you don't have analog movement. Analog movement is a thing in the original Metal Gear Solid, but for some reason they just didn't port it over properly. You can see he's like snapping to 8 direction movement, even though I'm using the left stick. So today we're going to fix that, as well as like the blurry filter it comes with. So that's enough, I'm going to get rid of this. First thing you're going to want to do is go to the link in the description. You're going to want to get this mod by Nugs. Just go ahead over to the releases section right here and click on the latest one. And I'm going to put this in my Metal Gear Solid mods folder. Actually, I don't think it went there. But anyways, uh, you're going to get these four files here and you're going to go back to your Steam library. You're going to right click on Metal Gear Solid Master Collection version and you're going to go to manage and then browse local files. So after you do that, uh, this is where your install is going to be. Just drag these four files in here. I'm going to assume you already know how to use a zip client. If not, there's tutorials online for that. So after you do that, go ahead and right click this INI file here. Make sure it's not the ASI one. Click Right click the INI file and open with notepad. So after that, I like to go into borderless windowed mode. It's not really required. This disables the blur called bilinear filtering. Uh, these are meant to emulate like um, CRT filters, but they look actually awful. These are by Konami, not Nugs, so uh, that's Konami's fault. Anyways, uh, down here is the analog control. You're going to go ahead and type in true. Then you're going to save the INI file, but we're not done quite yet. So we're going to go here to this little Steam input button. We're going to open that window. Now the way this works is it's going to rebind the left stick to actually be the right stick. And the reason why is there's no left stick to work with the game. So the only way we can get analog input is through the right stick. So you can change that on your own, but I'd recommend actually going to community layouts. And then you'll see Spoopy Toots. He has two of these mods. Uh, you can do one with turbo input. I'm going to do the one without turbo input. So you're going to apply the layout. And then... Whichever controller you're using, you should be good to go. So I'm going to exit out of this, and I'm going to load up Metal Gear Solid. And here we are. If I go into my prone movement here, you can see I'm moving at very, very fine angles here. That means the analog controls are completely restored. Uh, you don't have to worry about bumping the right stick, because the right stick is now unbound. But we have analog controls, and as you can see, there's no more blur. Special thanks to Nugs for this brilliant mod. Thank you to Spoopy Toots for his controller layout. And a big thanks to the Metal Gear Network Discord. Uh, the link to that will be in the description. You can see what's happening with all the modding news. And with that out of the way, uh, thanks for watching guys and I hope this helped. Peace out.